Continuing on with our lessons, we're now going to look at roles and responsibilities relative to security and risk management. The premier role, of course, is senior management. Here we're talking about the perhaps CEO of the enterprise. It is senior management's job to drive the security program. Senior management will also define the tolerance for risk for the enterprise. Risk is an inherent thing relative to vulnerabilities and threats. The counter for that is the control or the countermeasure. And if we throw more money at countermeasures, then we're reducing risk. But if we don't want to spend the money on countermeasures, then we're accepting more risk. Where we draw that boundary, that is senior management's job to dictate. Our job, being the security professional, is to provide vision to senior management and to provide these cost-justified recommendations to help management manage those risks in a manner that they see appropriate. It's their job to manage the risk. It's our job to understand them, to quantify them, and then to provide cost-justified recommendations to help manage those risks. Management will approve these countermeasures based on their tolerance for risk, And what they approve will essentially produce the desired specific security posture for the enterprise. The collection of countermeasures that are in place for the enterprise will identify how strongly we defend our enterprise against all those threats that want to negatively affect our profits. And it's management's job to drive this entire thing then make the decisions about how far we go with our security that builds what our security posture is. Our role in this is the security professional. Our job is to provide this vision to senior management, vision that includes this collection of cost-justified recommendations. It's our job to assist with the development of our policy documents. These establish the framework for governance. These are the written documents that say this is how we're going to operate, how we're going to behave, and how we're going to do it prudently and securely. It's our job to assist management with risk assessments and risk management. We're going to work with management with proposals and the implementation and maintenance of these countermeasures. First, we have to figure out what countermeasures are appropriate based on cost justification. And we're going to give the boss 20 different choices to choose from. And he's going to say, give me one of those and two of those and none of these and four of those. And that's what we're doing. We have submitted the proposal. He's approved. Now that he's approved these couple of things, we're going to implement them. And they become part of our security posture. So we implement them. And now over time, we have to maintain them. We have to keep them functional and effective. We have to monitor them. We have to detect violations and breaches. And then we have to respond and enforce to prudently make those countermeasures effective. Other roles and responsibilities include the data owner. Senior management is the ultimate authority. He's the guy we have to make happy. But he can't do everything in the business, just like he can't be a security professional as well. That's why he needs us. He's going to delegate authority and responsibility to others to help him do the prudent management of the enterprise. And one of those key players that he is going to delegate authority to are something we call the data owner. He will be responsible for all of the information assets, including the profits and losses, for that particular division or department. Now, he's a key player in this arena because the controls we implement will affect him directly. So that's the data owner. Now, the custodian is the technician who will be responsible for implementing, maintaining, monitoring, detecting these security controls. This is the guy who's going to plug the IDS, the intrusion detection sensor, into the proper port on the switch in the proper location so that we can monitor the network-based attacks that might be occurring, let's say, in the DMZ where the web servers exist. He's the guy who's going to apply the permissions on the files and folders on that file server. He's the guy who's going to implement that VPN concentrator, and he's the guy who's going to configure that we're going to use multi-factor authentication for the VPN, and we're going to use the advanced encryption standard with a 256-bit key to secure the information flow going through that encrypted VPN channel. That custodian is the technical guy that's going to do all this work. 
And then finally, we have the user. The user is very often the entity that actually accesses the resources more than anybody else. We might have five people in the security department. We might have 10 different data owners. We might have 15 administrators or custodians, but we'll have 4,000 users. So the users are by far the heaviest accessors of these valuable information assets and resources. So these are the people that require the information assets and resources to do the work that generates the profits that keep the business alive and healthy.